guys, Dan Greer with Clips DOT. I'm coming at you today from out in the sleeper of the Mack truck of all places. I do have to tell you that it is a great day out here. The grass is green, the crops are growing, and, and the mountains are absolutely gorgeous. There's not much snow left on them though, which is a little bit scary, and I've got a, I've got a feeling fire season is going to be worse than what we want it to be. With all that being said this year, we're going to go ahead and move into our leadership for the day. We're coming at you today to talk about leadership. We know that there's two types of leaders in this world. We know that there's good leaders and bad leaders. Well, of course, right? No, there's encouraging leaders and there's negative leaders. We're going to give you some examples of both, and we're going to, we're going to encourage you to be an encouraging leader. So an encouraging leader is somebody who goes out and encourages others to do great. They don't, they don't lead from fear. They don't lead from demanding respect. They lead from encouragement. Guys respect them and gals respect them because of the way they act, because they have morals, because of their standards, because of their integrity, okay? So those are some huge things right there. I've worked for a lot of leaders who, who weren't really leaders. They were bosses. They, they didn't deserve the name of a leader. They demanded respect. They demanded that you did stuff. They made it fearful. If you didn't do it, they put the fear they were going to fire you in there. Well, if you don't do this, you'll be gone tomorrow. And sometimes they say it jokingly. Sometimes they'd be like, well, if you don't make that sale, you're going to get fired. It's dumb crap like that, that that makes people hate their jobs, makes them not want to come. My question is, is in today's world, okay, there are so many people out there that have great jobs. All right, it, it's right now it's an employee's market. Even after all this COVID-19, it's still an employee's market. That means if an employee wants to change jobs, they can find one. It's not like five years ago when there were no jobs to be found and it was an employer's market. Now it's an employee's market. Employers are paying their employees more to stay. Now I tell you what, pay is not what keeps an employee there. It's not what keeps people on your team. Yeah, it helps. It helps, but it's not the key. The key is treatment. The key is how they feel. Do they feel like they're a part of the team? Do they feel like they're contributing? Do they feel like they're important? That's what really matters. An encouraging boss, an encouraging leader is the type of person you want to be. You want to be the guy who encourages your people to do better. Hey, Joe, you did a great job washing that truck, man. Hey, Linda, I really loved what you did with that presentation it was phenomenal you rocked it and giving them that recognition not only in private but in public makes a huge difference okay here's here's one of the best examples i can give you so i worked for a company one of the largest non-union contractors in the u.s okay and they brought me in as their dot manager actually they brought me in as a dot guy i kind of assumed the title of manager whether they knew it or not because i, I was the only one on the team i mean, we, we had like 700 drivers when I started, okay? Not all commercial drivers, but drivers. And they kind of put me over all vehicles, all drivers, that kind of stuff. Not not fleet stuff, okay? But over all drivers. And, and making sure their paperwork was done right. And making sure that they were being safe out there. That's a huge undertaking for one person. I mean, huge. But I didn't back down. You know what I did? I went to him and I said, hey guys, here's what we're going to do is you guys have been reprimanding them for all this bad behavior. When they speed you out and they slap their hand. When they get in an accident, you terminate them. When they when they go into a port of entry and get caught with a with a violations, you're making you're mocking them in front of everybody. We're going to change that. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to reward them in front of everybody. You're going to give me a budget of this much money and I'm going to give them gift cards every time they do something right. And I'm no longer going to bring up the bad stuff on an individual basis. I'm going to go out and I'm going to say, hey guys, our speeding was up 10% last week. Hey guys, we had 10% of the drivers in this division had, had speeding alerts multiple times throughout the day. I'm not going to go in and target them. I'm going to go in and target the good behaviors. And that's what I'm going to encourage you guys to do. And I'm going to tell you what happened with these guys. They went from almost getting their DOT number revoked. Like literally, they got a letter in the mail that says, if you don't improve after this last audit, we will revoke your DOT number honest to goodness, because I saw the letter with my own two eyes, okay? We went from that to being one of the top in the nation for safety standards in less than a year. 
a year turnaround for safety culture in a company who's over 2,700 employees at the time. Okay? What do you think happened to their company morale after that? Boom, it skyrocketed. And then what do you think happened to their work efforts? Boom, they skyrocketed. And you know what it cost them? You know what it cost them? It cost them less than $2,000 in employee giveaways. And it all went back to the employees. Okay, guys. I know this was a long one. I know hopefully you're still here. So what I want from you is how you encourage your employees to do better. What tips you have. Let's open this up to the world. Let's make all of us better leaders by sharing ideas. Let's make all of us grow. Let's improve the transportation sector. Let's stop punishing bad behaviors and ignoring good behaviors. And let's start doing the exact opposite and rewarding great behaviors and quietly correcting bad ones. All right, you guys have a great day. Stay safe. Enjoy the rest of your week.